Hi, welcome to the 58th Hammer Tutorial. Again, part of Tutfest. We're going to be making a game UI which will allow you to control things with W, A, well, move forward, back, left, and right, and mouse 1 and 2. So let's get started. Uh, first thing you're going to need is a way to trigger your game UI. So, a button always does this nice. And create a button. Just create a block. Funk button. And we can not worry about that guy for a little bit. Alright. Create a new entity and make it a game UI. And it will need to be named something. I need mine UI. I'm original. It can go anywhere in your map. It doesn't matter. And under the button, you want add on pressed UI. Uh, I think it's activate. UI. I said UI. Ah, it renamed itself. Okay. So UI and then activate. There we go. Now under the game UI, we want freeze player, hide weapon use deactivates and jump deactivates you can you can change those around it doesn't really matter how you want to deactivate yourself i'm just going to have jump deactivates because people just button mash when they want to get off it and now you go into the outputs on the game ui and we'll, you see we have a huge mass of, of items we can do you can have things do when a player activates it which is player on and player off you can trigger and there's press attack, uh, press attack 2, so that's mouse 1 and mouse 2, press back, forward, move left, move right. So mine's just going to be press move left, and the move linear, move linear is going to open, and then on unpress move left, I'm going to make it, I'm going to set its speed to 0. And set speed to 80. 0.01. Okay, so basically what it's going to do is, as long as I'm holding left, it will move to the left until it reaches the end. So I'm just going to copy this and make it be on move right, so I can move it back the other way. On move right, close. Now that's fine and dandy for that. Now I'm going to also add a on press attack. I'm going to make this thing spin. Start forward and on. On press attack. Stop. That's it. That's how you use a game UI. I'm going to compile this. And then I will see you inside of Counter Strike. We are in Counter Strike with my makeshift button. Let's come right here. Oh, look at that! You hold left and it, it goes to the left. I I click and it it spins. I kind of wish it spinned faster, but whatever. It's cool. And that's it. That's how you make a game UI work. It's really it's a good way you can make drivable cars with it, cannons, guns, pretty much anything you want. Uh, again. I hope this tutorial helped you, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.